sitting right here on 64 hectares of forest land dotted with springs of water and lush green vegetation canal forest supports various trees and life forms within its ecosystem named after a village Canal Forest is collectively owned by Kodan and Foley districts of Yamal today by local government of Gombe State in northeastern Nigeria. Like an oasis in the middle of a desert, Canal Forest tips the balance for Gombe, a state that has been plagued by gully erosion, desert encroachment, and a host of other ecological issues. It is amazing how such an important natural phenomenon is found in Gombe State, despite the onslaught of desert encroachment in the region. Gazetted by the British government in 1953, more exotic species of economic and aesthetic trees were added to the natural species growing in the forest. In the passage of time, the forest was subjected to abuse by visitors and suffered gross neglect from past administrations. Over time, activities of illegal miners, traditional medicine men, and indiscriminate felling of trees by firewood vendors shrank the size of the forest and undermined its growth. In the fulfillment of its mandate, the Nigeria Erosion and Watershed Management Project, NUMAP, put its best foot forward and came to the rescue of the thinning canal forest through a number of initiatives aimed at restoring the forest to its former glory. Through its enrichment and revitalization programs, NUMAP injected more trees into canal forest to restore lost species of both plants and animals. Secondly, Numa put off fences around the perimeter of the forest to safeguard it from abuse from illegal miners, firewood suppliers, and traditional medicine men. Numa put off solar powered boreholes within the forest to provide an endless flow of water that benefits not only the forest but also the teeming inhabitants of canal forests surrounding environs. By reorganizing and protecting the forest, NUMAP created jobs for several youths of communities around the forest, working in various capacities in the recreated canal forest. The canal forest is one of the forests uh, that was gazetted about 1953. That is about 67 to 70 years now. And it's a forest that uh, falls under Poli village in Kwarin district, Yamulti Emirate, Gombe State, and in Nigeria. So, Kana Forest initially uh, it was farmlands belonging to our people. That is the people that falls under Poli and Tukul Magadao. Yeah, Kana Forest uh, was first. Uh, discovered in 1947 and was gazetted by the colonial administration uh, in 1953. The natural setup of the environment, that is what uh, encouraged the gazetting of this area when the colonial masters came to this area in Gombe province of that time under the former Emir of Gombe, uh, uh, Abu Bakr Umar. Established long ago uh, by the then native authority and uh, the, the, the area was established because of the nature of the soil there. The soil supports a lot of cropping, a lot of, um, it supports the growth of a lot of species and then there are sources of water, uh, they have a, they used to have a permanent nursery there. Uh, so the nursery is feeding the neighboring communities with the seedlings needed for roadside, for shelter build, for wood lots and so on. With the timely intervention of the World Bank and the counterpart funding provided by Gombe State Government, huge investments have been made 
to redeem Canal Forest from the doldrums. We've done a very huge investment in Canal Forest, close to 100 million naira, in trying to secure the forest itself, uh, drill boreholes, leave it drilled about three boreholes to ensure that uh, our plants are well kept and uh, the communities around uh, also can use it for their personal use. Uh, apart from that, we've enriched the forest with a number of species of uh, trees. Some of them are in extinct position. Almost, uh, you can't even get them anywhere in the state except of that place. Uh, so obviously, uh, such a very huge investment is done just to improve the biodiversity, the ecosystem, whatever, in that area to ensure that uh, uh, animals and plants are now living in their habitats, you know, natural habitats. We have a very large futuristic um, recreational garden in, uh, in Kanawa in Kodon, which is part of the Yamaltu Deba in Gombe Senatorial in Gombe Central Senatorial District. So you see with this such investment there's a lot of biodiversity there and um, is a green area which um, has a lot of potential and there's been so much debate on it since the 1970s. So we're talking of four decades now. So with this um, we're grateful that the new map has been able to um, resuscitate the whole Kanawa forest which um, it has been secured by fencing it and there's uh, about um, three solar powered boreholes within the nursery and as well right now they are um, raising seedlings of about 400,000 capacity and uh, on the first side we have two phases of the Kanawa forest we have first one which is um, about uh, 23 hectares we fence the area using uh, very strong fencing materials and then uh, strong angle iron uh, to secure the place and we've provided a borehole we provide a solar powered borehole with uh, 20,000 liters overhead tank to store the water for watering and for the neighboring community to benefit from the water and uh, we've reticulated the area to ease uh, watering of the plant uh, so that the plant will be sustained up to the maturity and then on the other side we have about 40 hectares which we fence it with same material of fence, same materials of uh, angle iron, very strong one to last for several years. We have uh, sol two solar powered borehole with 20,000 liters of a head tank each to support the, the, the storage of the water for watering the plants we've planted there and also for the neighboring community to benefit from the source of water. With the intervention of the new map, that the forest is now secured they have uh, fenced it with barbed wire. They have provided water, constant water. What I mean is uh, the, the, the boreholes in the forest. Uh, they, 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 they took the responsibility of the securities to look after the forest. Uh, these are the reasons why the forest now uh, become what we are seeing now due to the intervention of the new map. New map has become a veritable organ and efficient instrument in the efforts at rehabilitating canal forest. The diligence and commitment of NUMAP has yielded positive outcomes in the battle for the soul of canal forest. So now with the intervention, with the protection, we are conserving the area. The area is now secured. We are, experience, we are experiencing a lot of uh, natural regeneration. Some of the species that were threatened before, because of the place is now secured, they are now coming up again and then the natural regeneration, in fact natural regeneration is taking place and the forest is uh, coming back to its normal stage gradually apart from the species we have replanted there or we have planted there. From the beginning of the canal forest from the southern to the end of it at the northern part of it there is water running. That is why people at the borderline at the north and the south are all are farmers. Uh, 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 throughout their farming during the rainy season and during the dry season they are farming always so this is a uniqueness of canal forest 
Because if not because of this World Bank project, then Kara Forest definitely is going to die. Because all the surrounding, they have finished all the trees that they have here, they have finished it. And the reasons that cause the the pollution of Canal Forest are about three or four. The first one is the issue of security. You know, uh, the forest face challenges of security in terms of the attacks being made by people living uh, around the forest. What I mean is the villagers that are surrounding the forest, they used to go there and look for firewood and the economic trees they used to get from that forest. Uh, and so also the, the animals. What I mean, uh, the cows, the, the goats, the sheep and the rest, they used to enter the forest. So in fact the forest was somehow, uh, uh, the forest faces these, these challenges. And that's why the forest reduced in its capacity. And uh, the issue of water also, that's also contributed to the depletion of the forest. And this is some of these reasons, or such reasons, are the reasons that make the forest to... And so also the another reason is, in fact, there was no proper management of the forest by the local government and the state, that is the Ministry of Forestry. So these are the reasons that caused the depletion of the forest. As the biggest forest in Gombe State, Canal Forest provides nurseries to feed 20 hectares of lands set aside in each of the 11 local governments of Gombe State in the Gombe Ghost Green project of the Inwas administration. Part of what the Gombe State government is doing is, uh, is trying to reduce vulnerability to soil erosion by way of planting trees. And um, Canal Forest happens to be one of the only existing forest uh, uh, secured and uh, we have uh, nurseries there that uh, we raise plants for the communities. So I want to believe it's like we are going in line with what the government needs. The government is planning to have about 4 million trees before the end. If I to plant about a million trees each year, so about 4 million trees in four years, creating jobs over 27,000. So our little contribution in, in Canal Forest, we have raised close to 400,000 trees there and um, uh, we have given people jobs, we have opened ways so that people build capacity so that people can learn the trade of nursing these trees and selling them out. So I want to believe uh, what we've done is, is not too far away from what the government is doing. The Gombe State government is a government that is key and um, is, a, is a government that has put in place measures to see that the environment is important and as well we all know that the environment is a global phenomenon at, at the moment because we have issues of climate change so that is why um, I believe now in Nigeria uh, our governor His Excellency Elijah Muhammad Inua Haya if not to talk too much we could um, regard him as a green governor or as, or as the champion towards um, combating climate change in Nigeria because um, it, is within, it is within this administration that he um, initiated a project, the Gombe Goes Green Project, which is um, targeted specifically to um, grow one million trees each year for four years, which is about four million trees. So with this target in mind, and um, we're grateful to God and the World Bank that we have the new map in Gombe State. So this is a key project that has been married together under the new map project to support the pilot implementation of such project um, um, to, 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 to grow the seedlings across the states. And the best measure is, to, is that the Gombe State government has initiated um, the rehabilitation and also the building of new nurseries in the state. So this is where the Kanawa nursery came to place. As an environmentally friendly administration, counterpart funding was promptly paid by the Inwas administration because it has become imperative for Gombe State to tend and conserve Kanawa forest 
as it holds solutions to its several ecological issues and even provides jobs for its teeming youths. If we allow Kanao forest to survive, we can, there is no place that we can build to survive. Let me tell you the fact. All the, the local government here in Gombe say we have 20, 20 hectares of uh, plantation uh, established by new map. All the local government, 11 local government, 20 hectares. If we cannot, if this one cannot survive, then this one will not survive. Definitely, they are not going to survive. But if this one survives, then all the other ones will survive. I, actually, like now we are in the fasting period. If you go to the forest by 3 to 4 p.m., you will see a lot of people from, coming from Gombe because they don't have where to rest. They are coming there to rest. And uh, so also during the festi festivities, either the you know, Muslim uh, Salah or the Christian uh, you know, uh, celebrations, they always go there to take pictures and uh, play. There are some cold water in the, in the area that uh, they enjoy it. So, so I think people are enjoying that place. And most of now, New Map has employed not less than 20 people working in that place. And they said they are going to employ more. So you can see that uh, the community are now benefiting from the forest. In the course of the proceedings, New Map reoriented host communities on the need to conserve trees and the benefits that can come from conserving canal forest. New Map has achieved a lot by way of giving awareness to people, drawing their attention to know the importance of having these trees. Uh, initially, people just felled trees, cut them indiscriminately. But now people have, you know, kind of inculcated the culture in them that uh, we need trees because they anchor the soil, they reduce desertification, they reduce soil erosion, they give us oxygen to take in. If you give out uh, our, our carbon dioxide for them to solve. So it's like it's a symbiotic thing. So actually, our greatest achievement is incorporating that discipline into people on failing down trees indiscriminately. Because the issue now is that they know when they should cut trees, and uh, if they cut trees, they must repress trees. That is an achievement. Uh, the revitalization of Kanao Forest has sparked a number of creative ideas on the part of the state government and other relevant stakeholders. One of the policies and programs of the Ministry of Environment under the leadership of uh, I as the Commissioner and um, under the able guidance of uh, Governor Alej Mohamed Inwahaya is the Gumbegos Green Project which um, aims to create about three and um, four million trees at the end of four years with a sole target of one million trees each year and at the moment um, the government is just one year into the administration and we have 1.5 million seedlings on ground in addition to its partnership with the forest research institute of nigeria it has an additional one million trees on ground so we're talking about 2.5 million trees on ground which is ready for um social forestry providing to all corporate organizations and individuals within the state and the ministry is also getting enormous number of requests from all these individuals and organizations. So with such um, trees, we have um, raised these seedlings across seven nurseries. One of the nurseries is the Kanawa nurseries. And um, you see um, the, the, the Kanawa nursery at the moment has been, the infrastructure there has been rehabilitated, revitalized in terms of the provision of, the, of, of a standard nursery, three pl uh, solar powered boreholes, the fencing of the area so the animals and um, the plant species there have regenerated and it also provides an avenue for agroforestry and social forestry and as well this is a key area that we could, that the government could display um, the tree plantations that it has um, it has spearheaded, especially being it a futuristic um, recreational center. So as people come in as tourists, they would actually see on ground what the Gombe State government is doing in terms of afforestation in the state and as well combating climate change. All the, uh, His Excellency uh, Al Haji Inouye Haya to come personally to see this place, to make it a viable place, to make it because uh, you can see Bauchi has a zoo in Yankari, Kwadan should be given a zoo 
uh, they should buy some wildlife from other countries to you know to bring it here and uh, there's going to be a very economic growth uh, how uh, some some restaurants can be built or small small uh, houses can be built uh, for people to come and and, uh, and stay for a day or two so that will make it uh, economically good for us that's my, my calling to and uh, our team youth that are not employed uh, if this thing is done they will be given employment at the commencement of the canal forests rehabilitation exercise new map faced an enormous tax of reversing decades of abuse that the forest had succumbed to. The forest was in a dismal state and headed towards imminent destruction. With the harmonious working relationship between NUMAP and the Gombe State Ministry of Environment, the Canal Forest Project witnessed important milestones. The endangered species they are there and uh, they are used as, is, the forest is now used as a research center by universities and other colleges of uh, agriculture. The, the microclimatic condition of the area has been improved. The endangered uh, species that were going into extinction are now coming back because the, the place is now secured, no disturbance for both uh, plant and animal species. And the, we are also receiving visitors like students coming to do their field studies there because uh, the place is secured, it's conducive and there are a lot of species that you can only find in that forest. You cannot find them elsewhere. So there are a lot of species that were existing in Canal Forest without existing elsewhere. And um, there are species like Terricapos erinaceus which is uh, not common here. Thank God we have few species, we located a few species of them and the Raifia Sudanica which is of uh, economic importance to the neighboring communities and uh, they, are doing, they are using it for construction purposes, for making beds, chairs and the rest. It's uh, also part of the benefit that uh, they are reaping now. One of the key achievements at the moment I could say is um, personally the, the Federal Minister of Environment has commented the um, activities of tree planting in Gombe State because there's a presidential um, initiative that um, 25 million trees will be planted across Nigeria. So now Gombe State government has already taken the chunk of 4 million and I believe which will be more than that at the end of four years. So in terms of tree planting and also afforestation efforts that are coming in from outside the country, especially um, international organizations like the World Bank, the United Nations, um, United Nations Environment Programs, and as such, um, we already have that structures in place. And in terms of the capacity of, of, of the staff, in terms of um, the training capacity, we already have that in place because we were able to bring out all the good hands within the, within the government to come together and actually put out action plans, that bankable plans that could um, put Gombe State at the forefront of tree plantation and as well I've told you we already have we have we have forecasted that it will be a major research center for other for, 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 for related research and also it will be a key tourist area and as well it will be an area that you could um, actually um, show that biodiversity can actually be improved within the country. New maps revitalization exercise yielded scores of positive results and changed the old narrative as Canal Forest now blossoms with life. As New Map hands over Canal Forest to host communities, it is hoped that the forest would be fully protected and maximized. Uh, my appeal to the people of Gombe State is to ensure that uh, the Take these plants as part of them uh, because uh, plants I and mean, trees have important uh, economic value to society, apart from giving them shelter, food, firewood, and everything. Uh, and, uh, secondly, people should understand that uh, the government has spent a lot of money, and um, it's a state owned project. 
So it's not just a World Bank project because the World Bank is financing it, but uh, the state is paying back. So people should understand that um, uh, when it's worth it, worth it, it is we that are going to pay back. So let's uh, look at it as part of uh, the contribution uh, made by the World Bank by way of giving us this money to invest in this uh, gigantic project. My appeal is um, for the neighboring communities of the forest because um, now the forest that has been protected by NUMAP and uh, a lot of activities, uh, good activities that is going on, the, 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 the beating, beating up of uh, the dead plants, the natural regeneration that is taking place, the source of water, and then they are feeling as if a uh, new map is coming to take away the land from them. And I want to appeal to them to know, let them know that uh, new map, what the new map is trying to do is to, just to conserve the area for them to to have a sustainable usage of the of the forest so that um, it will be of continuous use to them, not to destroy. And um, thank God our present governor, Alaji Mahmoud Inoue Haya, is very keen about um, having this uh, uh, environment being conserved because he introduced a program called 3G uh, Gombegos Green where plants will be a lot of plants will be planted around. He proposed one million trees each year. <clears throat> so you can see it's a very good achievement. Now it has been protected, fenced, fully fenced. So what is left now is using my staff from the local government. I encourage the local government to give me more support so that we can plant more trees. I am in 3G, then the trees will come. The plants will come, then we'll plant it. As I told you earlier, that we have our development association who is taking care of all the associations. And the new map, the other time they came, they directed or they instructed us to form associations, of which we, are, we, have already have, we already have the associations under the development association. The, their chairman is even here with us now. He's with Alija Abu Dawdu, because he's the chairman and his secretary, and Saleh Verde. We are all together with them now. They are trying, all, they are, they are, they are trying their best to see that the associations that this new map want us to form, at least we form the association, we form the association that will cut and will take care of the, of the forest. Because the new map are, are trying, uh, making arrangements for the handing over of the forest to the community, of which from there the community will not take over. So I want to assure the new map and the state government, the federal government, and whoever you can think of that the community is ever ready to see that you complement the effort of the new map, the state government and the federal government. So as you ask, I'm appealing to the community, uh, of, course, of which I know, I know my community, I know, my, I know the members of my community, and I know their commitment on this line. Uh, but, also, but so also I want to add on what they are doing to at least see that we do the possible ways, even not 100 percent, actually 99 percent, to see that we have complement the effort of the new map, so that uh, whenever history repeats itself, whenever at least new map maybe want to visit or come for for another work, they will see what the community have done.